Hi everyone, today let's color poppies and I would say that for me poppies is one of the most difficult flower to color. Why? Because usually wild poppies they have only one color of the petals, it's something between orange and red and petals they are so thin, almost transparent, that they have many folds. And the only thing we have to show that flower at least has some volume. We can do slightly lighter shade of the orange near the ends of the petal where they are transparent to the sunlight and to create more intense red color near the central part and between petals. I don't like poppy red pencil from Prisma color set as my main color, most, mostly because it's already somewhere between red and orange. It's beautiful, but sometimes it's difficult to find a pair, lighter orange color for the tips of the petals here, for the edges. But today I will try two color combos with various reds. For each of them I tried to find one lighter color and one darker color. I would say that this flower is the most difficult between the three of them. This one also isn't very easy. So let's start from the easiest one. And here we will need to test our color gradient from orange to red to dark red. For this first flower I decided to use permanent red as a basic red color and I will be using it in the central part of the petals. In the center I press harder to get a more intense beautiful red color. And when I go closer to the areas where I plan to switch to other colors, especially here near the edges of the petals, I press less on my pencil to get only a hint of color. the center I can even apply second layer of pigment to get nice and bright red like this. Ok, here we have some folds. Try to find the sparse between folds and I will be filling them also with permanent red. Let's work with darker color. I decided to try one very dark red pencil, it will be crimson way. Why I decided to use it? This flower is behind all other flowers, even behind these two lupins. And there obviously will be casting shadow on this flower behind. So I want to put this dark red here, where we still can see petals of the poppy between flowers of the lupin and here near the base of the petal. I hope that this dark red will add my poppy at least a little bit of volume.
and we can try to draw some additional folds. Now I will try to use orange. And again I try to vary pressure on the pencil to get from very pale orange near the very edge of the petal. And where I mix this orange with permanent red, I will be adding more pressure to work on this area in the middle. Yeah, poppies are definitely not my favorite flowers to do. I have tried a lot of times in Leila Dioli book, in Maria Trolle Twilight Garden and I am never happy how my poppies look. Maybe this time. It's not so bad. Maybe let's add some additional dark color here I love when there are quite strong contrast between dark and light colors in color gradient let's try maybe to highlight this area a little bit and what we can use, maybe let's try eggshell. Not sure. Not very helpful. Then let's add a little bit of orange then. Well, I don't know how to improve this flower, but I definitely can ruin it completely. So let's switch to the next one. On the next flower, let's test our poppy red. I apply it with quite light pressure for the outer row of petals. Then again I try to find folds on the petals and also I will be putting more intense red color here in the area between petals. Let's shade this fold here and put more intense color here. A 
Now let's start working on the inner circle of petals. Maybe I want to color them slightly brighter, so I put more pressure to get more vibrant red color from the same poppy red pencil. But I still don't color the edge of the petals. Now let's find which dark red color can be helpful in order to add our flower some volume here near the basis of flowers. First I have here my scarlet lake. Let's test how it will behave. I hope that there is visible difference between scarlet lake and between poppy red. This one is more reddish and obviously a little bit darker. Not enough contrast for my taste, but still we can use it for some parts of the petals. Let's try more dramatic contrast with black raspberry, only in the spaces between petals. I hope that it added some volume to the flower. And what we can use near the edges of petals? Orange. I am not so sure because it's not so big difference between orange and poppy red. But I still will be adding it with very light pressure in several places. I'm glad that I left more of uncolored areas here on this petal, so now I'm able to add more orange pigment here. And it's nice when we have some of the petals more red, reddish, some of them are more in orange colors. In such a way flower will look more realistic. But I still think that I need something lighter along the edges of the petals. And what I have in mind, maybe let's try salmon pink, but not sure.
maybe a little bit of eggshell. that we have lost some of the main red color so let's return back to the poppy red and let's add some more red color to the central part of the petals now i press quite hard on it i want my flower to be quite intense And here I like some shading, so let's switch back to my black raspberry and let's add it here. As I said, I want this big flower to look really dramatic. So that's why I am not afraid to add quite dark colors for the contrast. But I hope that my camera will be able to catch all those smallest differences in the orange and red shades. Usually my camera hates orange and orange-brown colors. But let's hope for the better. For the remaining flower, I decided to start from Scarlet Lake. Obviously, when you color poppies, you don't need to use so many quite similar red colors. The only thing I want to show is that even if you don't have the full set of Prisma colors, if you have limited set, you still can get one of the red colors. The main thing is to find nice orange color, which will be a, which will create nice uh, con difference with your red color, which will be lighter comparing to your main red. So let's start with Scarlet Lake. I hope that. It will be looking quite nice together with orange pencil that they will create beautiful color gradients on the petals. Again near the center I press harder to get darker red and near the edges I put lesser pressure. I think that the whole inner part of the flower around center it will be darker comparing to the outer petals which are much more transparent to the sunlight. have this banded or curved petals so let's put darker color there then their central part we can do lighter maybe with orange and then let's put a little bit of red here again I hope to add some volume to this flower Mostly I try to follow these lines along the petals, but sometimes I forget that I need to put my pencil strokes along these lines, but I hope that you will remember it. And 
Now let's work with orange. When I want, when I went from crimson lake to orange, here I press hard and going to the edge, I apply a very pale orange color. Just a light touch. Now flower looks more orange than red. It's not big because there is a huge variety of, of poppies and they definitely can be more orange than red. I still want to add some darker color along the center. It will be crimson lake. Let's try again our salmon pink. And as a last step, I again want to work a little bit of scarlet lake and to return some red colors to the petals. Maybe here around center we can add shadow with black raspberry. Or we can simply color the central part with this dark color and it will look quite dramatic. Almost finished. For the central part of the flower, let's um, use a little bit of black cherry, black raspberry again. And 
we can add a little bit of dark amber maybe I don't want to use black because of the black background so I will stick to the dark amber pencil sure what to do with the black lines here. I think that I don't want to erase them. Even if now I have a lot of various Posca pens, still I would say that by outlining them they immediately start to look even less realistic. So definitely not the best way. They start to look like, yeah, I don't know, more cartoonish, something like this. Maybe only the very tips of the petals where I do want to slightly highlight them. And then I will try to cover this quite bright ivory color, too light for the petals, with another layer of orange. Let's test on this flower. I hope the damage won't be quite big. I don't know. doesn't look like poppy now. So let's let it dry and then I will cover it again with orange in order to mask these two bright outlines. I can't say that putting a little bit of ivory posca and then to put a little bit on orange did create any difference here. So let's leave our poppies with black lines. At least I don't know what to do with them. When I start to mask them, my poppy starts to look much more like peony, I don't know, and less like actual wild poppy. So here is the final look of our poppies. Definitely not my best coloring and I'm worrying a lot about 
if my camera was able to catch all nuances of colors, all those shades of red and orange, because usually when I film on the black background, it's confusing for my camera and it starts to lose some um, color hues and color shades. But anyway, at least I am able that you will be able to use pencil combos, which I used on the petals of the poppy flowers. And I hope to see you in the next part.